glória de Deus. Nós queremos saudar a todos os quatro. We would like to greet the church with the peace of the Lord. I'd like to invite the brother to open the word of the Lord. And Nehemiah. What? Nehemiah, chapter eight. Verse 10. And so says the word of the Lord. Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send the portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Brother may be seated. Brethren, the book of Nehemiah, it talks about, about a moment that is historic, but also a prophetic moment. Because the whole word of the Lord, it is prophetic. The word of the Lord, it's not static. But the word of the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, she, it keeps working. It, it operates. Because the word of the Lord is alive. And the historic moment here of Nehemiah was the moment that it is very particular to the life of the brethren because the people, the Israelites, they had lost the direction They had lost uh, their prophetic way of the project of the Lord. And the and the song and in Jerusalem. And with Jerusalem, the city had been destroyed because the enemy came to rob and destroy. Because this, this is the trilogy of the enemy. It's to kill, rob, and destroy. And so he went there with the permission of God because sometimes we question why Lord why am I going through this battle why Lord am I being humiliated But no, one thing that in all things God wants to take 
to his rescue. The understanding that our life, it is not just here. That God has an uh, eternal project for every one of us. Just as he had a project for the people. And so God permits that the people can go. And then 70 years pass by, if I'm not mistaken, in Babylon. And so there they started to value what they had lost. And so God permits that moment of being captive in Babylon so that they can remember what they had back then in Israel. Talk about the prodigal son, that he had everything and his dad's farm but he got tired of that life and look this is very dangerous Christians servants of the Lord that gets into a routine in the church that is very dangerous because that is why that son he wanted to leave the farm because he thought that that routine, it was something that he can, that he could taste new things and better things outside. And so we pray to the Lord that it doesn't fall over us, this spirit. We can say, right, this routine. Fifteen, twenty minutes of praise. And then a message. This is not a routine. This here is, is food for our souls. Go and eat the fat and drink the sweet. Go. The go here. It, it's in present tense. Go. Go your way. Eat the fat. And why? Because the fat it's interesting because of the fat. I'm making a comparison here. The animals that in the winter they hide inside a cave. What do they do during the summer? They eat a lot of fat. So that later, because they know in the winter, they're gonna need energy because the fat and the sweetness and drinking something sweet it is the energy they need and so the moment and that was the moment there in Israel and they were, they had already been from being captive here. Nehemiah is uh, talking about a moment in which they rebuilt the walls. They instituted new laws. Everything that they had lost, the service, they put, he put everything in order in Jerusalem. And so the people came back to the Holy Land. 
And so he says, now go and eat fat. The servant has, he has to be fed because when winter comes, he has to have energy. He has to have force to waste. Because if he is inhabilitated, it is an easy prey at the lion's hands. And Peter says that the lion is wa always walking around to, to prey on someone. So, so if me, if you, if us, if we are not eating, of the fat, of drinking of the sweetness of the honey, certainly we can become easy prey because there are moments in which you need a lot of energy. There are moments that you need a lot of fat a lot of energetics to beat our enemy. Go and eat the fat. And that's why after Nehemiah, after he put everything in order, he even gave, even gave this tip. And now that everything is okay, now that we reconstructed all the walls, Every, now that everything is reestablished in Jerusalem, now I'm gonna, Jesus is gonna invite you all to go and eat the fat. Fill yourself with the word. The lamb, when Israel left Egypt, the order was to eat from all of the lamb. He eat it entirely. If you get there and say, I only want this part of the lamb. The fat, I don't I don't really want it. No. Eat all of it. Eat the whole lamb. That is not bad. The fat of the lamb will not be bad for you. It will actually bring us energy. Go. It's present tense. Go. And send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. And so The mission of the church is also to, to repart to give to those who have nothing prepared. There are people who are thirsty right now. We are on our way to a new temple. So we need a lot of energy because a lot of work will come. And the way it says, send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Brethren, we are living a moment, moments like this. Sad. All the news places, all the things that are happening around us, things that bring us anguish, sadness, 
depression, revolt. But the word is, do not sorrow. The church has to be strong in the grace of the Lord. We are living a moment in which man is is after a bear because man is very scared. Depression is depression is something really big now in this century. People people become depressed very easily now. The world is like this. But the tip for the church is to go your way and eat the fat. Eat what's going to give you energy, the word. Another day, I heard a brother say, He was, he was going through something. He had something going on at his job. What does he do? He gets inside the car. He goes to somewhere close and he puts on songs and begins to praise the Lord. And usually after the second song, he says, I don't know what happens, but a strength comes, my faith becomes renewed, I forget everything, because the Lord is happy when His people glorify His name. Why? Because His happiness is our force. When we are happy, when we are praising the Lord, that is our strength. There is no one that can resist a soul that is grateful to the Lord. Because our heart happiness is our strength. Hezekiah, here, uh, Ezekiel, I found interesting that in the first chapter of Ezekiel, he says, look, and something happened, he says, the days and the years and the months, and he said that it has been so many years and in so many days that I, Ezekiel, have been with the captives. Captives. This is, this is in Babylon. And so, when I was there, the heavens opened, and I saw visions of God. It's a miracle. Miracle. The person is there in a scenery that is that it is very good for everybody to be complaining oh God sent us here we're in Babylon we're in a horrible place don't serve this God no look this scene was perfect for anyone to, who wanted to to possibly complain they were there captive but no he said brother look at the heavens and when they looked to the heavens the heavens would open and they saw visions of God hallelujah brethren this, this is not the moment to look down. This is not the moment to look at our difficulties. You have difficulties? Yes. 
but it is the moment for you to look up and see the heavens open and have visions of God. Stop looking only for the difficulties. The moment, is it hard? Yes, it's hard for me, for everyone. Oh, the brother in there is, isn't a blessing. No, I'm not. And in various moments, we are all captives. But it is the moment to look to the heavens. Go. And eat fat. Eat the fat. And drink the sweet of the Lord. Brethren, if we were here to relate, I'm not going to take the time or right, finishing up, but look, think about the day that you accepted Jesus until now. Is there more reasons for you to glorify the Lord than complain? Because the Lord is happy. When the Lord is happy, that is our strength. Remember the things. Praise be the name of the Lord. Because one more year has passed and one more year is starting. But until here, the Lord has sustained us. Until here, nothing have we missed, and nothing will be missed, because God is faithful. Brother, that was there in Brazil, he asked for a prayer, and he said, look, pray for us. He said, he sent on WhatsApp. And he said, pray for us, because today it is a decisive day for us. The scenery is not easy, but to God, everything is possible. And we pray to the Lord, and after we will receive an answer. Look, brethren, you can glorify, because the blessing has already come. Hallelujah. And that is how we will go. Because if we are only complaining, it's like things get worse. But may God bless us. And let's remember that our happiness, the Lord's happiness, it is our strength. Let's praise the Lord.
temo o perigo, Ele é o meu Salvador. For this day is holy to our Lord, and do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Alleluia. My children, And so says your Lord. I am happy with your position because you have walked in my ways and you have seeked my face even in a world that the enemy is a prince. You have came to me and you know that I am your strength. I am the God that gives you shelter that hides you and that takes you away from all bad things. My children, even though that there is many bad things around you, I have taught you to restore, to restore the songs, to keep songs in your home, to keep the praise. Your posture is going along with my, with my eternity. Be happy, because during the praise, I have already brought upon two of my servants, taken away all bad things from their family. My daughters, your home is mine. I am with you, and I help you. And now, during the administration of my word, one of my, one of the men here, I have blessed him. I have took away from him all will to take away. My son, I have brought you here and my eternity knew. And I want you I want you in my presence until the great day of the Lord in which I will meet you in the clouds so that you can enter heaven. My son, tonight you have ate from the fat and drank from the sweet and so I lift you and I make you happy so that you can continue glorify my name O church because this is what I have done in my in my people's midst I've established victories and victories in the midst of so many battles that you have passed I am your God praise my name let's have a glorification to the name of the Lord Brethren, we praise you, O Lord, because of so many times we have felt your presence, Lord. We thank you because you have helped us so much. We praise you, Lord, 
because you are our refuge. This is our refuge, O oh Lord. We, we, we thank you because we have this privilege of being here in your presence. We feel your presence here. We praise you, Lord, because you have helped us, Lord. We, and in this new year that has started, we have felt your presence. You have sustained us. We thank you, Lord, because we are here to glorify your name, Lord. We praise you. We praise you that we can be here feeling your presence, Lord, and that all the glory and honor be to you, O Lord. We praise you for everything, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, bless your church. We just want to praise your name. We thank you because you are faithful. You are a true God. You are a God that has took care of us. You are a God that has given us food. You have given us strength. You have given us strength when we are weak. You are a present God. You are a God that has fought for us. We praise you, Lord, because the blessings are not only for this moment, but you have prepared your church to be with you in eternity. And that is why we praise you and praise your name. And we ask that you may stay with us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, may be seated. To all, a peace of the Lord. There will be a quick meeting with Group A. With Group B as well. Group B will also be having a little meeting right after the assistance. To all, a peace of the Lord.